It's like a day in the life of a busy ass female who's on her level up, like level up journey. It never stops. Like you got to have a lot of energy. You don't have none. You got to go get some, find some somewhere. I don't know how you're going to get it, but you need it, honey, because it's not for the weak. It's not for the lazy. So enjoy. Hey, so I'm on my lunch break. Say hey to my baby. I just rushed home really quick because my wig just arrived. And I'm sneaking off so I can bleach the knot. So when I get home, I can pluck it and put it on. Now, oh my God, this is how much I care about hair. I literally just left work to come and do this because this shit is fun. So let's go get it out the mail room. Amazon delivered at like 4.30. Am I going the right way? Like 20 minutes to bleach the knots or whatever. We're freaking far. So it takes like half a mile to get to this room. Okay, I have to cut my camera off so I can look at the text message and put my code in. Then it'll open one of these boxes. If it's a big package, then it'll be in one of those rooms. But and then it takes a picture so they know who picked the package up. So I'll be right back. Locks back and yeah. Oh, now I'm on this long ass freaking walk again. I'll be back. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here. Let's go. See my struggle ponytail. <laughs> yes, this is about to be gone. So. I guess I need to get some scissors. We're about to open. This is the second wig I've ordered from Amazon. The first one, it was that curly um, blonde. It was like blonde and the number four highlights and stuff like that. That's what I had got. And that was really good quality. HD lace. And the hair lasted really good. The curls were just like, that was some good ass hair. So I had to do some research and find me another wig on Amazon because the two day shipping. Yes, I don't have time to be on Instagram DMing girls and waiting on them to like give me shit them numbers and stuff like that. That just gives me anxiety. But hold on, let me go and get um my scissors. Okay. So I'm gonna try to move super fast because y'all gotta get back to work. <laughs> At least by 8 30. I told y'all I work at a data center. Okay, this is the box it comes in. Coin Deluxe Wigs. Okay. Alright, I see the packaging. It better not be hard to open. Anything special, no, no cap, 
no lashes, just the wig. And it is 20 inches, Brazilian. The color is 1B and 30. They sent these. Whatever. Probably can't see it, but whatever. Okay, y'all. So it's supposed to be Water Wave. The last one I had got was a Deep Curly. So, okay. The lace is looking really transparent. And it's supposed to be 180 density, 180%. And I don't know, right now I don't feel like 108% density. But maybe after I wash it and stuff, it will. What time is it? <laughs> Y'all. Okay, and it's supposed to be pre-plugged, which it is a little bit. But the knots aren't bleached. I don't know if they said it would be or not, but... Yeah, the knots aren't bleached, but the hair feels really freaking good. It does, like, really thick. I don't feel like a whole bunch of chemicals. Like, you know that stuff that they put on the hair to keep it? Let's see how far it's going to fall. bigger than the deep wave yeah they're looser way looser than the deep wave and yeah but you know the texture is going to be way different when you wet it and stuff so really i just really came here to see the hair because i do not have time to bleach these knots because you know i'm thinking like okay the bleach only supposed to stay on for 20 minutes but i forgot how long i take to just like feel it and just like <laughs> Oh my god, be one with the hair, you know? Like, oh my gosh. I love getting my hair done. Like, what? It's the best feeling ever. Like, you're not thinking about nobody after that. <laughs> Everybody think about you. Period. <laughs> okay. I just had to do it one time. But. Okay, so I'm going to bleach the knots. The knots are really small, so that's a freaking plus. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the knots are hella small. So, yeah. I guess it's the baby hair. I do have a little wig here. Let's get this real quick. So, I guess I'm going to come back after work and i have to bleach it and pluck it after work i wanted to just bleach it right now and then come home after work and just have to pluck it but uh, i guess i'll be doing both after work or whatever It blends pretty well. It's a lot of brown spots on here from makeup and stuff. So I guess you can see different skin tone or whatever. But I'm gonna wash it with some purple shampoo to get rid of the like brassiness of the color. But this is a 30 and a 1B, supposedly. And only thing I don't like about it is I don't feel like it's really 180, 180 density. Like it's not giving. It's not giving 180 at all. But we'll see. Cause I wish I had like a scale, then you can weigh the hair and really tell how much hair is in there. Cause the thicker the density, the more hair is supposed to be added. So no matter how long they say it is, how thick is it? Like, really? How dense? How close are the 
lips sewn together. And it's not that close. I mean, it's not that much. So this is definitely not, look at all this space between the lips. This is definitely not 180, barely 150. But the hair quality seems good. So I paid $330 with tax. So it was like 308 to begin with and then tax took it to 330. So we'll see how good it looks. I'm just happy the lace is really like soft and flexible and really transparent for real because that's the real cap. Like if you don't got no good lace, I don't know what you're gonna do. That's the hardest part to hide. I'm not buying no $300 worth of hair just to wear a headband around the edges. Like no, I'm not doing that. Hair quality gotta be on point and the lace need to be on point. Everything else, they can be manipulated. Like the knots, you can bleach those, you can pluck it or whatever. You know, the color, you can do a little something. I ain't gonna do much to this. But I'm hoping when I wet it, it'll look like I imagine it will. So water wave, like all these little curls at the end, They'll be gone. This like the little pinky curl thing. Like no, need to be like wave all the way down. I still want to wet it right now just to see. Let me see. I'm gonna wet a little piece of it. Y'all love hair. I just left work. Then I skipped lunch <laughs> just to come play in this hair. when I get back, condition it, then pluck it for you guys and put it on. <laughs> okay. I know it's not like my normal videos, but I'm just really into this shit. I love doing my hair. I don't do other people's hair because I'm not into doing other people's hair, but I love doing mine. Comment down below if y'all be feeling the same way. Like, I love doing my makeup. I love doing it up, but I am kind of get kind of nervous if it's somebody else or like I kind of you know like uh, I'd rather not just I don't even want to go through the mental stress of thinking about it like I don't want to think about really having you showing up and sitting in my chair and me having to make you look bad as hell like no I don't need that I do consultations though tell you what look good on you No, ma'am. So I guess I'll see y'all later. Bye. Okay, y'all. So we're back, and I'm just gonna bleach some knots really quick. This gonna be like a little get ready with me. Um, get all of this together. But um, I'm gonna bleach those, speed it up for you guys. And right now, I am watching tutorials on YouTube because YouTube is our friend. So I'll be right back with the bleaching. Okay, so I'm showing you guys what I used to bleach the knots. That was a bowl. It was like 149 the 30-volume developer. 
that was like 149 then the bleaching powder was like 249 or something like that so what you're gonna do is pour all of oh yeah that's the shampoo and the conditioner so what you're gonna do is pour the whole pack of the bleaching powder inside the bowl and then pour some of the cream developer inside the bowl but do it like a little bit by a little bit because you don't want to pour too much you don't want to make it too creamy like you want it thick not too thick but definitely not running so you don't want it to see through the lace and get all over your hair and stuff so make sure it's thick enough so this is the you know the consistency that it came out to be i liked it that way so i'm using it slap that baby on there don't like stroke it to where you're like smushing it in but just put enough on the brush to where you can just glide it over so it just comes off like paint but really thick paint like some of that wet clay stuff y'all be putting on y'all pregnancy stomachs in those cute little pictures <laughs> but yeah that's what the lace you're gonna cover the whole lace like that some people just do like where they're gonna part it at and around the edges i've done that before when i'm in like a hurry or i'm scared about how the bleach is gonna affect the hair on the lace and stuff like i don't want it to shed too crazy so if you guys are scared about the bleaching process you can just like do one thick line in the middle if you're doing a middle part do one thick line on the side if you're doing a side part and just focus on the edges so you'll have the rest of your lace not touched by bleach so you don't have to worry about like damage or anything like that so just a little tip if you guys are on the little the scary side <laughs> but yeah just move it all on there use light strokes light gentle strokes like don't be afraid to put some more on the brush if you think you gotta like put too much pressure on it to get the get the bleach onto the lace so yeah you guys enjoy So I'm done. Now we're about to let it sit for about 15 minutes. So we're going to set the timer because it's really 20 minutes, but you, I do like five minutes before so I can at least check. So guys, this is what she's giving very much bleach knots, period. And this is before plucking. So yeah, they're pre-plucked pretty good. It's not too bad. The hairline isn't like straight across like a square. So I like that. It's the scalp. And again, oh, this is the shampoo. I mean, the conditioner that I have on it right now. I put it like all on the lace, all on the, um, all on the knots and stuff since they were just bleached. And then all through the rest of the hair. This is what it looks like wet. Hey girl. Hey girl. Okay, so the other side. The bleach did bleed over a little bit, but it's fine. I'm gonna pluck a little and then ah, put her on. Okay, y'all. So it's like nine o'clock in the morning, and I don't have to be at work until 3 30. So I woke up, finished plucking, and this is what she looks like. And now I'm about to put her on. So we're gonna see what the hype is really about. I washed the conditioner out this morning too. So still a little wet, but we're about to make this work. Let's get it. Okay, y'all, so we got the ball cap on. I just braided my hair in two braids and I put foundation on to match my skin color and we're about to put the ghost fine glue on. So, <laughs> I'll be back. 
So I just cleaned around my edges with some witch hazel. So the glue, you know, won't be all dirty or whatever. And now I'm about to put it on. Okay, so now I'm just putting the glue on. I'll probably do just two layers because I only wanted to stay on for like a week. So I like to redo mine like every week. So I'm gonna do two layers. Oh my God, I'm looking like Chicken Little. But anyway, the results, the outcome. Let's focus on that. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so now I am gluing the hair down. The glue turned clear. And you just got to make sure that it's sticking. So I use a comb to like smooth it down, smooth the edges down and make sure that the hair is like going back, like a brush back motion. So you can keep the hair off the glue or whatever. I'm not a professional, so whatever. So this is what I was talking about with making sure the hair isn't attached to the glue. Cause sometimes if you don't let it dry enough, the glue will like seep through the lace a little bit. And so your hair will be stuck and you don't want that at all. Then I cut three little slips that makes it easier to cut the lace off. And you just take your time guys, take your time because you do not want to mess up and you can't go back can't fix something that you already cut off so take your time and don't cut it straight across like cut little clips at a time or whatever okay so now that I cut all the lace off I'm going to you know take a better look in the mirror the big mirror because I'm at my vanity right now yeah let's get into it so now it's time to get this baby hair situated get the edges right you know okay so i sectioned my hair this is gonna be my little baby hairs or whatever and i hot comb the edges and i'm about to put my head scarf on and then do my makeup i'm tired this wig is on this edge cap edge scarf is on and i just did my eyebrows i'm about to put my lashes on and do some concealer and we're about to do this hair hey y'all let me turn this air down so i'm back it's nighttime i know this is supposed to be a get ready with me but i be busy y'all like i be multitasking doing a lot of stuff getting a lot of stuff done like if you really about your level up you're gonna be busy like you're gonna be always putting stuff in motion always having something to do and you just gotta make it work like if you really want this lifestyle we're gonna get into this hair but if you really want that type of lifestyle you gotta do a lot of stuff like it's never easy like the stuff you can get by doing nothing it's not really anything that anybody want oh my gosh i'm being ghetto i don't have a phone holder for my car yet but y'all so i forgot what i was talking about but yeah you're gonna have a lot of stuff to do and if you really want to meet these type of people go out get approached by a certain type of people get invited to certain type of places you got to put all this effort and time into yourself like you might have a million other things to do but number one you better look good like that should be your top priority because when you look good you feel good you have confidence everything you do it looks better when you do it when you have confidence people can see confidence people are attracted to confidence so that's that so let's get into this hair y'all it looks so good i could have plucked a little more but i was rushing and i didn't really pluck that much so it still look real good I told y'all this was like hd lace i'm about to move again so oh my gosh uh, 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 uh. okay 
Okay, y'all had to hold the phone because I'm in a drive through so now I got a little light or whatever. Like, uh, y'all, it's been a busy day. Like, a lot of my days are busy, but that's just because I put myself first and I have to, like, make sure I'm put together and looking good, doing good, feeling good, all of that. Hold on, y'all. So we back in normal light. See, this is really like, where do I find a time to do all this stuff that I'm doing, y'all? Where? Like, I'm trying to sit here and find good lighting while I'm driving around in the drive-thru, trying to get my food, got to go back to work, then got to get off work, and now I got to move again. Thank you. So I just said all of that to say that it's going to take a long time. Like, I got my wig yesterday. It got delivered on lunch break. I left work, went home to look at the hair. I was trying to bleach the knots, but I didn't have enough time. So I waited till after work, bleached, plucked, still fell asleep because I was tired. Woke up in the morning, finished all of that, put my hair where it's supposed to be <laughs> and then yes like now i'm gonna enjoy all of this work that i put into it i'm gonna enjoy all the benefits that i get from it and that's all i got for this get ready with me um i'm gonna make a patreon too so we can really talk about stuff because people be watching my stuff now and <sighs> i can't really give y'all the tea that i want to give y'all i can't really like go into detail y'all know i like screenshots y'all know i like then y'all listening on phone calls and stuff so yeah it's gonna be the patreon is gonna be where it's at like all my loyal supporters you're gonna go on patreon and you're gonna really run up this bag because i'm not holding back and yeah we're gonna have some privacy and we're gonna have real results because I don't play and I'm not about to play with y'all on my Patreon. I'm gonna play on YouTube because I can't do and say what I want to on YouTube, but Patreon, the lives is coming. <laughs> Everything's coming, so I'm gonna be excited about that. So yeah, people stopping because I stopped. I stopped because it's good lighting right here. So I'm just talking on here and guys are just like <laughs> staring. Uh but I understand. So see y'all later. The ambulance is riding by, so it's a good time to go.